Michael Jackson and Freddie Mercury, the surprising reason they never released their duets. The musicians recorded three songs together during the height of careers, only for the collaborations to be shelved. Queen's Freddie Mercury had been soaring on an extreme level of success since the band released its first album in 1973. Known for his penchant to transcend genres, ranging from rock and pop to opera and disco, he had the utmost respect for Michael Jackson, who was at the height of his own reign with 1982's Thriller. But the brewing anticipation of a joint collaboration never came to fruition during their lifetimes. Jackson boasted he was a Freddie Mercury fan. The two first met when Jackson would show up to Mercury's concerts with fellow bandmates Roger Taylor, Brian May, and John Deacon as Queen. The friendship and mutual admiration was documented in a 1983 Rolling Stone story during one of Jackson's backstage visits to see Queen. When a reporter asked Jackson, can I tell my viewers that Michael Jackson is a Queen fan? He replied back, I'm a Freddie Mercury fan. I love you. Queen backstage with the presence of Michael Jackson. Freddie and Michael both respected each other. In an interview, Jackson told that he is a Freddie Mercury fan and Freddie Mercury also praised MJ in an interview. Michael Jackson visited many Queen concerts in USA, but sadly, there is almost no video of them publicly available. In this video, we can see Michael Jackson at the backstage of Queen concert in presence of Freddie Mercury. Here we can see Queen at first going somewhere and then Michael arrives with other people. One was the engagingly versatile frontman of one of the greatest rock bands of all time. The other became known as the King of Pop, releasing one of the best-selling albums in history. And together, they had plans to work together on a project that had the potential to become the ultimate collaboration in music history. Whatever the songs were meant for, the two definitely began work on demos for three tracks in Jackson's home studio in 1983, There Must Be More to Life Than This, State of Shock and Victory. Freddie Mercury about meeting Michael Jackson. Together with Michael Jackson? And work with well, just um, in, in the early days, well, I mean, like three, four years ago, I mean, he used to just come and see our shows at, at the Forum in L.A. And um, I guess he, he liked us, and so um, I got to meet him, and... Um, he kept coming to, to see us and then we started talking and uh... what attracts two totally separate people i would have thought into working together because you you, you seem almost poles apart as individuals not knowing uh, jackson himself yeah. well i guess you're right I master mean, that's that may, maybe that is the attraction but i mean um in those days i think he would actually go out he'd go out and, and have dinner or something i remember going to dinner with him and i think now he just stays at home and doesn't like coming out at all that's what you know that's what he says i mean he's just um he says oh Whatever he wants, he can get at home. Because I mean, a, 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 any, anything he wants, he just buys it. But have you and, ever uh, talked? Have you talked to him about? I mean, just in terms of being an artist, or in terms of a song. Well, I mean, I, I like, to stay in the house like that, that kind of isolation. That's so scary. I know that's not me. It? That's not me. But I mean, you know, well, that's his bag, mm. and um, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm, I'll be bored to death. I mean, I have to go out. I have to go out every night. I mean, I hate staying in one room for too long anyway. I just like to keep keep, keep moving. It's just just an individual approach, you know, he, I don't know, I mean, I guess he's just, um, because he started when he was very young, so, I mean, when you think about it, well, when I'm talking to him, I think, my God, he's 25, I'm 37, yet he's been in the business almost longer than I have, because he started that young, and for me, it's sort of quite frightening when I'm talking to somebody who's 25, and, and uh, you think, because somebody who was 22 or 25 has just been starting out or whatever, and I could sort of teach him a, a few tricks, but uh, not Michael. In the early days, he used to sort of, like, Queen and used to come and see all our concerts and so we became friends and he said why don't we do something together this was during just before the thriller days actually and so I, I said okay we can why don't we try something together so it was just me and him and I went over to his house and uh, did about three or four um, demos you know to see how they work out um, you were also recording something uh, with uh, Michael Jackson that was not released yet I think um, you, the song is even called victory is that true that's right yeah um, about three tracks, it was about a year ago, and they haven't been finished. And uh, since then, Michael Jackson's gone, and he's worked very hard, and I've had things to do. So we haven't sort of, uh, we haven't seen each other for about three, four months. 
and um, whenever we have time, we'll call each other and get that scene sorted out. I've done um, I've done like three tracks uh, with him, and that was about a year ago, even longer than that. And um, yes, Victory was one of the songs, but he, he wanted to use the the title for the Jackson thing, but the song is still still there, and it's probably just waiting until the two of us get together and finish it. And so. I think all that remains is, is a track that we actually wrote together, and um, it's, it's a track called Victory, which then he used the title as, as the Jackson's album, so it was before that. <laughs> so, I mean, in, 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 a, in a funny way, I guess that, that track is frozen, because um, we, that's the only track that we actually wrote together, as it were, and so we, we've got a demo, which sounds great. You haven't and, um, it No, and I mean, it's just because he has commitments, I have commitments, and... Uh, it's very difficult. I mean, he's on tour, I'm going on tour, and you've got to sort of, um, you know, it's very, very difficult when two different, uh, you know, musicians trying to get together. I mean, they have, he has to do his stuff, and uh, it's just that when I was um, spending some time in L.A., and uh, we're friends, he said, oh, why don't we try something? So, I mean, one day it'll probably be finished. And, um, well, the other song is called State of Shock, which, uh, which I did, and uh, Mick Jagger's on it, because... But it's all okay because um, uh, Michael called me up and said, look, I want to finish a song. I want it on the Jackson's album. And I said, I can't come over because I'm in Munich. And he said, well, is it okay if, if Michael, if, if Mick does it? So I said, fine, you know. Made of shock, which in the end I couldn't complete. I couldn't finish, so Mick Jagger did it, right? Really? Yeah, well, that's, that's true. So I, mean, I actually did the vocals. But the thing is, this is the thing, timing is everything you know and um, at the time when he wanted me to finish it i just said i can't because i was working with queen i said i really haven't got time i was in munich he was in in los angeles and he said look is it okay if mick does it i said fine so mick did my vocal please baby please now listen this is it you look so great every time i see your face you put me in a state ooh, 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 ooh. state of shock songs are songs i mean as long as our friendship carries on and we can uh, write all kinds of songs after that. And it could possibly be on this new solo album you're talking about? It could be actually, I'd like it to be, I'd like one of the songs to be. There Must Be More To Life Than This was a, a song that I'd written a long time ago and uh, it was going to be on one of the Queen albums and uh, for some odd reason it, it just wasn't used because I'd written something else. But I did it in a very different way, I mean it was... Um, the way he sang it is just so beautiful. I just said I have to put a different approach to it. So I put, um, there was more orchestration and, and the way that I wanted to do it anyway. On it, I was initially going to be on Thriller. Can you imagine I blew it? I think one of the tracks would have been on uh, the Thriller album if I'd finished it. But um, I missed out. There must be more to life than this. There must be more than meets the eye. I, I live in hope for worlds filled with love. Then we can all just live in peace. There must be more to life, much more to life. There must be more to life, more to life. More to life. Because I just can't